Silver Utah Park racetrack opened this past weekend after closing for a year because of COVID. Four horses died, three because of race injuries and one off track. As Nine on Your Side's Craig Smith reports, those deaths point to an issue haunting the sport of horse racing as a whole. There's a lot of horse racing history here at Rieto Park, and the horses are running again after a break due to COVID. But over this weekend, four horses ran into trouble here and ended up put down. Quarter horses are the dragsters of the horse world, famous for blazing speed over a quarter mile or less. Rito Park has been running quarter horses for almost 80 years. COVID forced the park to take a year off. The first weekend back drew great crowds, but four horses had to be put down. Three from injuries on the track, one from a freak accident where it reared back, fell over and broke its neck. Rory Gore heads the Arizona Racing Commission. He saw the injured horses at Rieto. He says he's speaking for himself, not the commission. When he calls for reforms like high-tech x-rays to routinely examine horses before they race and fewer races so horses have more time to rest. He says plenty of tracks have problems. And as for Rieto. I felt that they had done the best job that they could. But if, if, you're, if, if the horses that are coming to run are run too much or have pre-existing conditions, you could have the best track surface in the world. You're still going to have a lot of breakdowns because the horses are gone full blast. Rito says it goes beyond working towards a safe track. It has an equine wellness program that checks a database to learn if a horse had an old injury, then watches for signs the injury could become worse. I make notes and we focus on that during the exam. And so every horse is flexed and it's trotted off and we, we examine it for any lameness issues. In the morning, every horse is checked. Every horse is ran up and down the same surface, so it's an even playing field. Dr. Mary Scalay spent 30 years as a racetrack veterinarian for tracks and for regulating agencies. She says tracks have an important role in horse safety, but everyone who works with a horse has a responsibility to note injuries that could become dangerous, especially the trainer, who should not be afraid to tell the owner when a horse should not race. Some owners, you know, make it very clear, you do what's best for the horse and I will be happy. Other individuals may express expectations about performance, that their, their advocacy for the horse is conditional. I need this horse to pay his way. I need, you know, I, 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 can't, I can't just keep training this horse. He's got to run. He needs, he needs to earn a check. Mike Weiss manages Rito and other tracks too. He says he strives for safety, but understands horses and riders face powerful forces. These are athletes, and they're fragile athletes, and they're going 40 miles an hour. And You know, you have a 1,200-pound athlete going 40 miles an hour with a 115-pound athlete on top of them, you know, in tight turns and stuff, but they know their job. They're professionals, and when they do their best to keep everybody safe. We just had a couple unfortunate incidents, and I'm hoping to get past that soon. Rory Gore says tracks everywhere must reduce equine deaths. We've got to make the rule changes. We've got to invest best money in proper equipment if we're going to continue doing this. Otherwise, our end is uh, very near. Craig Smith, KGON 9 on your side.